Welcome to the Milford Minute. I'm Kristen Manning, Realtor with Keller Williams. Today I'm here at Angeline Physical and Aquatic Therapy. I'm here with owner Jeff Angeline. Jeff, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit about your background and how you got started into the physical therapy field. Well, I back in high school I had this love for sports as well as for the health and medical fields. Mm -hmm. I combined those and my, uh, decided I would go ahead and take athletic training. Yeah. That allowed me to play some baseball while I was in college, because mm -hmm. uh, you really couldn't do that with physical therapy and the demands. Um, having done that, I then went on to grad school and got a degree in neurobehavior and cardiovascular fitness, but I was like, something's still missing. I want to be that physical therapist that yeah. I kind of was thinking about back in high school. Yeah. So then I went to uh, physical therapy school and got my degree in physical therapy. So a little bit of a roundabout way of doing it. I got the baseball bug out of my system. Uh, and like I was telling you earlier, uh, Eric Davis kind of ruined my dreams <laughs> playing center field for the Reds. So, uh, uh, right. <laughs> don't it, but, so here I am a physical therapist instead with awesome. the, and an athletic trainer. So. Very cool. Awesome. Okay. So tell me, Jeff, what kind of physical therapies do you provide here? So predominantly we work on an athletically injured orthopedic clientele okay. or people who have had post-operative uh, orthopedic types of surgeries such as knee replacements, okay. hip, shoulder replacements, so a lot of replacements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, people who are trying to avoid those replacements. Yes. Uh, we'll do a lot of knee reconstructions, uh, just your basic, uh, your general uh, rehabs for the back and the shoulder. Okay. Um, for those people that have some weight bearing issues, mm -hmm. uh, we have a therapy pool. Okay. So awesome. our therapy pool is unique in that it has an underwater treadmill. Okay. So if you need some buoyancy to take some of the weight away mm -hmm. to enable you to use your lower extremities a little bit better, uh, some of our post-surgical backs uh, also benefit from it. Nice. Uh, we will do that. So not everybody gets aquatic therapy, but yeah. those who need it, it, it's here for them. Uh, it's a unique underwater treadmill. It has therapy jets that we can do deep tissue massages. Nice. We can use those jets to challenge your balance, create some resistance to the walking in the pool. That's cool. um, so there's a lot of different things we can do oddly more safely in the water yeah. than out of the water. Yeah, so, that's really uh, cool. And it's warm water, so it also helps those arthritic conditions. Okay. So. So Jeff, does someone need a prescription or a referral from a doctor to be able to make an appointment with you? So those days are kind of a thing of the past. So I think it was around 2000, 2001, uh, Ohio got what's called direct access. Mm -hmm. You can access physical therapy services without the prescription of a doctor. Um, there is a little nuance with, with traditional Medicare, not the replacement Medicare, not the commercial plans, not the Medicaid plans, but traditional Medicare, mm -hmm. a doctor does have to sign off on the plan of care. Okay. So even though we don't have to have the prescription legally, yeah. we still, in order for Medicare to reimburse, there has to be a doctor involved signing off on that plan of care. But everybody else, there, there's not even that little uh, snafu or obstacle okay. to accessing our services. That's awesome. So Jeff, do you, does someone have to go to a physical therapist that's affiliated with their physician's office or their hospital or even their company that they work for, or can they choose whichever one they want to go to? Absolutely, positively, unequivocally, no. You can go <laughs> anywhere you want. Okay. Um, the There's a lot of facilities in town that own their own physical therapy places that mm -hmm. have physicians. Yep. Uh, but back, I think it was 1989, they passed Stark Laws, which say, you, you can't have kickbacks, you can't force people to go to different therapy places that, um, that you might have a vested interest in, mm -hmm. at least not without disclosing that vested interest. Yeah, that uh, but there's no reason to drive clear across town to go somewhere where the doctor may have that vested interest mm -hmm. or be affiliated with the hospital that they're working with. Uh, we communicate with them just as well. Okay. Uh, there's no lapse of communication or anything mm -hmm. like that. That's good. Uh, we're, we're convenient, and like I tell people, I got enough gray hairs to have some experience that maybe some of the other places might not have yeah. around here, but not enough gray hairs to have forgotten what I'm supposed to do. So. I like that. <laughs> so. so tell me, Jeff, how is your physical therapy practice different from other therapy practices out there? Well, we already talked about the aquatic therapy mm -hmm. that we offer. You're not going to find a lot of places around town that offer that as an adjunct or uh as an, an alternative mm -hmm. uh, to the land-based therapies they're performing. Okay. So uh, that can be very beneficial and it'd be a game changer for a lot of our clients. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there's yeah. cost. 
We're a small private practice. Yeah. We do not have the clout with the insurance companies to negotiate a higher rate. Okay. We don't offer surgeries. We don't offer MRIs or other <laughs> testing. Yeah. So we can't kind of hold the insurance companies hostage yeah. with that, hey, we're not going to do this if you don't give us a better rate. Right. So we get what they offer us, and mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Yeah. So uh, our cost, therefore, is going to be lower uh, mm -hmm. a lot of times with people who have deductibles. Mm -hmm. So especially first of the year when that deductible starts oh, over. Yeah. It's gold to see us if you're looking to cut costs because yeah. we're typically not going to be uh, as expensive. I've, I've seen some rates as much as 40 to 50 percent higher than ours. Oh, wow! So that's, it can get crazy. quite costly yeah. seeing some of the other places. So, yeah. um, and like I said, we've got some experience here, mm -hmm. um, so maybe you might be able to uh, tap into that experience a little bit that you might not get elsewhere and okay. um, get a little bit better. Uh, product awesome. for your money. Very so, cool. Okay. Yeah. So Jeff, what if somebody is curious or, or or thinking about physical therapy, but they're not really sure if it's right for them? What would they? What would you recommend them do? Well, you can give us a call, okay. and instead of setting up that appointment right then and there, you can always ask to talk to one of the therapists. Okay. We'll be more than happy to talk to you if it's not something that we can kind of figure out over the phone, because sometimes we really need to visibly see mm -hmm. what's going on. Yeah. Uh, put our hands on you uh -huh. and, and just see what kind of strength balance issues that might exist. Mm -hmm. Then we can have you come in even for, and do a free screen. Okay. Um, um, you know, there's no charge for that, and that's just to help determine if physical therapy is something that would be right for you. It's not to replace an evaluation, okay. a full-blown evaluation, mm -hmm. uh, but it's just so we can, again, kind of see exactly what you're talking about, because sometimes things can't be described well over the phone. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jeff, so much for having me today. It's been great to learn about your business. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and thank you for watching the Milford Minute. Again, I'm Kristen Manning, realtor with Keller Williams, Seven Hills. Uh, and if you think you might uh, be a good candidate for physical therapy or might need Jeff's and his team's help, please let him know. I'm sure they'd be glad to help you.